I'm Tara from Von Chicken Boutique, and today I'm going to answer some questions that people have asked about my spinning wheel. I spin with an Ashford Kiwi, it's double treadle, and I'm just going to show you a little bit about how it works. Um, the double treadle means that there are two, basically, pedals here for me to pedal, just like you ride a bike back and forth, and um, the pedals, the treadles, crank this, the wheel, the big wheel, which is attached by an elastic drive band to the flyer. And the flyer, you see it's all one piece, uh, is what adds the twist to the yarn. The yarn comes through these hooks, and these hooks just determine where the yarn falls on the bobbin. So you can fill up the bobbin evenly. The yarn comes out of the orifice in my hands, and what my hands do is keep the twist from coming back into the whole big thing of fiber. So my right hand is a pinching it to hold the twist back. My left hand is slowly pulling the fiber back and I'm only letting enough fiber through my right hand as I want to end up in the finished yarn. So for a very fine yarn, I just let a tiny little bit. And for a big bulky yarn, I'm going to let a lot more. And this is a local spun bat from a local fleece. And I want to keep some of these really cute little curls in it. So I just let them get up in there. I don't pinch or draft them too much. And the drafting is just the motion of pulling the fiber back and letting only a little bit into the yarn. Um, the yarn wraps onto the bobbin because the bobbin is tensioned, and this is called a scotch tension. It is basically a knob where I adjust it, an elastic band, and a spring. This spring gets attached over on the other side to a hook after it's been wrapped around the bobbin. Then to tighten the bobbin up to uh, make the yarn feed onto it, I just twist this knob, tighten it up a little bit, and there you go. I'm ready to spin. And that's how my wheel works. If you have any other questions, please leave them uh, below this video. If you'd like to see other dyeing techniques or spinning techniques or anything at all, please just let me know. Thanks and have a nice day.